Welcome, everybody. It is Gonzalez Science Farewell Episode, but only for this year, not for next year. With that being said, I've taken a lot of time to, uh, before I post this uh, episode, just to kind of think about where we started and, and, and where we are. You know, this was kind of the first year now uh, in the past few years where we really had um, a full year of school, right? And because of the previous year, you know, you only went to school probably in April. I, I think I remember April. So you really didn't have the, the full experience. And, and to some degree, um, you know, not everybody had really the, the full experience uh, of this year. But we did what we could, right? I mean, that's that's what it is. And uh, so I kind of, this is kind of a different uh, farewell message, especially for these year's students that were with me. Um, no matter how long you were with me, uh, whether you came in the middle of the year or later on, it, it, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, you're, you're still all my students regardless of whenever you came. Um, with that being said, um, I really wanted to leave you with a message of motivation uh, for this coming year, whether you, whatever high school you chose to go to, um, and, and really motivate you and say, do your best, uh, try your hardest. Um, don't take high school lightly. Um, always try and succeed and do your best that you can do. Um, aim for college. Aim to further your education. Aim for that. That's, that's very important because it gives you more opportunities in life. And nothing would make me more prouder of each and every one of you if one day I saw you and you, and you would tell me, hey, these are the things that I did. This is where I am today. That would bring me great joy uh, just for you. If that ever happened, maybe it won't. No big deal. Uh, but to me, uh, I only have you for a year as, as your teacher. Uh, so my thing with that is I hope you do well. I hope you do the best that you can do. And again, I want to emphasize aim for college. Aim for it. Just, just aim for that goal to give yourself more opportunities uh, later in your life. You won't regret it if you have that as an aim. Um, and even if you don't, and even let's say that's not an aim, then have a goal. Aim for something, uh, whatever that's going to be. Find your passion. Find what you like to do, what you like the most, um, because that, then that gives you a pursuit of something. Whatever that may be, you need, to you need to find it, right? Because then you can make contributions uh, to other people, to society. So my first aim for you is do your best. Secondly, aim for college. Thirdly, find that passion and desire with something that you feel that you're good at or something that you want to pursue and go for it. Uh, I can't tell you that the amount of times where I have found my passion for something and I've pursued it. And I never regret pursuing something that I really enjoyed uh, doing. And neither, and neither would you. Um, so that's kind of my motivation uh, for you, uh, for those students that have had me in previous years. I hope you're doing well, especially the, the, the class where we kind of ended uh, a few years ago. And there was kind of that last two months, kind of when, when COVID started. I hope all of you are doing well. And in fact, I hope all my students are doing well. Again, I don't know... Uh, what you're doing, but I hope that it's you're doing well and you're being successful. Nothing would bring me greater joy than for you to be successful in life and to enjoy life. Um, and education is just one way to get there. And again, pursue those things that you enjoy. And when I say pursue those things, to be more specific, I'm talking about maybe you enjoy art, maybe you enjoy reading, maybe you enjoy uh, building things, maybe you enjoy um, skateboarding, right? I mean, th those things sound simple, and they are, but from those things come greater things. For example, maybe someone that likes skateboarding uh, really wants to pursue athletics or something like that. Uh, maybe someone that works with their hands wants to pursue how to fix cars or just fixing things in general, appliances, things of that sort. There's, you never know where your desires like that uh, for learning are going to take you. So my encouragement to you is, it doesn't have to be science. Of course, I hope it would be. <laughs> um, but seriously, though, find things you like to do. 
and pursue them in school and do your best. Try your hardest. Uh, this is a very important time as you go through high school. Uh, in fact, I think thinking now, I think those students that uh, during COVID, you would you would be juniors at this point. I believe you'd be entering you'd be the, the junior year of high school for you. So again, I wish you all the best. I hope you're doing well wherever you're you are or you're at. And again, try your best. And I hope in some way that I hope that just with our year together that I made an impact uh, in your life for science and in life and in general. And that would bring me great joy to know that you, there was some impact there. Uh, and I always, every year I try to do this with my students. I try to provide some impact and, and, and motivate them to do their best, whether it be in science or all the subjects, because they all matter and it's not just uh, science. So I wish you all the best. Farewell.